Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome back in Unreal Engine 4.26. Now, I know I recently made a video about how you can get a 360 photo out of Unreal Engine 4, and somebody left a comment and asked how you can do a video instead of a photo. So that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. Now, I know there's probably plenty of ways on how to do this, but this is how I was able to get it to work. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, go ahead and check it out because I'm not gonna go over a lot of the settings because they're pretty similar so if you want a little bit more in depth go ahead and check it out in the comments below and in the box on top below in the cards so you can see how everything is set up so we got an archviz map here that i got from arch station it's pretty nice and um, what we're going to do is go ahead and make sure our plugin is turned on so if i go to edit plugins and if you go to panorama type it here and you're going to see the panoramic capture is already enabled, so that's okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. I'm going to go to view options. I'm going to turn on show engine content and show plugin content. And then I'm going to go right here to the show and hide source panel. And we're going to go search for that panoramic. Okay. Panoramic capture content, double click. We're going to click on the assets and we're going to double click the capture itself. All right. So, like I said, I already went over this and we're going to go ahead and change. I'm going to leave everything to 1024 for now so that um, it's not going to take that long to render. I mean, I can move that to like 4K, but for now, we'll leave it at 1024 as the final uh, export re resolution. And then right here, I'm going to leave that as one. And then the folder is right here where it's going to export it to. I'm going to leave that as default. I changed this to 8-bit because we are going to be a exporting PNG, not 32 EXR. And then over here, I'm going to leave that monoscopic and so I can put one right there. And what I'm going to do is connect this to the movie 360 right here. And I'm going to change this here to 600. So it's 0 space 0 space 600. And I'm going to press enter, compile, and then save. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And the next thing we're going to do is actually create a new level sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And I'm going to go back to my main content folder right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just go back to this. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here. And go back to our content browser like that. All right, so I'm going to create a new sequence. I'm going to go to cinematics, add level sequence, and I'm going to name this mom. I should create a new one. And then what I'm going to do is also create a cinema camera. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that in our scene. Race it up. If you press G, you'll see your icon. Keyboard G, scene golf. See that right there? And we're going to go ahead and add that camera to our sequencer. So that's there. I'm going to change this to 60 frames per second. And then we're also going to change our project settings to 60 frames per second. So if I go to edit, project settings. I'm going to go ahead and go to frame rate. And I have used use fixed frame rate right here at 60. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just I'm going to animate this camera here. So just it looks a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and move it where I kind of want it. And just kind of rotate this here. I kind of want it coming out. Maybe like towards here. That's kind of ugly. If you see this black spot right here, that's the shadow because this is a uh, baked in lighting. And as you can see, the lighting needs to be built, but this is going to take me hours, so just ignore the black spots. If I build the lighting here, that should fix the shadows. But for this tutorial, just kind of leave it be. Because I was moving the couch a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up just a little bit. Okay. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the transform right here. And if you know how to animate a camera in Unreal... Go right here, and I'm going to go to Transform Location, put a keyframe right there, and I'm just going to move 600 frames, which is technically 10 seconds if you go with 60 frames per second. So I'm going to go about 600 frames, and I'm just going to push that camera up, just like so, and I'm going to go ahead and transform. So now you have that keyframe, 
And if I go to perspective, cinema camera actor, you're going to now see that I have a camera movement. Okay. So the next step we are going to do is, I should have done it earlier, but I'm going to drag and drop that panoramic blueprint in our scene. Just drag and drop it right there. And I'm going to go to my cinematic viewport here, cinema camera actor so you can kind of see it. Now, like I said previously, you are going to have to turn off a lot of post-processing uh, because some of the screen space effects does not work with this 360 plugin for now. So if it looks funky during the export, go ahead and start turning some settings off because if not, you might get some horizontal lines and flickering and stuff like that. So uh, what I'm going to do next is go to my plate right here and just make sure that I have new editor window pie checked. And what we're going to do next is actually go to our level blueprints. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my content. We shouldn't really need that anymore. And again, I'm going to remove the pano and that should just open up my content. All right. Go to our level blueprints here and I'm gonna open it up. And you're going to see that I already have something set up here, but let's go ahead and create this from scratch. So as you can see, this is a great level sequence and then a play. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop this here and I'm going to do the same exact thing and I'm just going to show you how it's created. Sequence level player. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this as well. And then what you're going to do is select the asset, select your mom, and then right here, drag the squiggly and type play. And you're just looking for play. Somewhere. There's a lot of plays, so give me a second. Right here, play. And then what we're going to do is drag a reference of our mom from the world outliner right here. And we're going to drag and drop that right here. Okay. Connect this to the target. And that should create another node. And just make sure your mom's here. And then compile, save. And this blueprint is now good to go. So now, whenever we press play, it's going to play your mom and, you know, all this stuff right here. It's going to play that sequence that we created. So save. And now the fun part. All we have to do is press play. And then what I'm going to do is let it render. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take. But I'm going to let it render and then come back. And then we'll take care of the rest of the footage. All right. So go ahead and press play. Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome back in the tutorial and it took around uh, two hours, I believe, for the 600 frames to render, but I was using my laptop, so it's probably why it's a little bit slower. So let's go ahead and import that uh, 360 footage inside After Effects here. So it is a PNG sequence, as you can see right here. Make sure that's checked off and let's go ahead and import this. Now, like I said, I exported it at 60 frames per second, but I want this a little bit slowed down. So I'm going to import it as 24. So I'm going to right click. And interpret footage main and I'm going to change this to 24 I'm going to press OK and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that into a new timeline and as you can see it's really small because you know we only did 1024 by 512 uh, I could increase it to 4k or 8k but that would take even longer uh, so with that being said I don't like where this is defaulting to so I'm gonna change the framing so if I go to effects and presets now this is Adobe After Effects 2019 because I haven't updated it in my laptop so if I go to VR and I'm gonna go ahead and go to rotate sphere and I'm gonna drag and drop that here and if you go ahead and pan you should be able to retarget this 360 without messing it up and we actually want this robot in the middle to be our center of attention. And as you can see, like I said, there's still dark, dark spots right there because I didn't build the light. So that's the shadow from the couch that I moved. So don't worry about that. So yeah, this is still a pretty amazing um, setup here. And I was actually contacting the creator to see if he can make me some sci-fi archvis if that's possible. And if you know how to make archvis like this... Uh, please let me know because, man, I, I need some environments for stuff. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and export this to uh, 360 because we're going to need to do one more thing uh, before we can import this or upload it into YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and just export this in a Adobe Media Encoder queue. 
So here we go. What I'm going to do is actually make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to export it bigger so you, it'll be better in YouTube. Because obviously we exported it in a low res version. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, 4096 by... And I'm going to unlock this link here. 2048. And I should stretch that all the way. And then what I'm going to do since this is 4K, I'm going to go ahead and do 5050. I'm going to do VBR2 pass. And you can check VR right here and call it a day. So let's go ahead and do that. Monoscopic 360, Okay, and there's no audio in here. And I'm going to go ahead and export this. And I'll be right back. All right, so once that's done, we can go ahead and open our um, video here. And as you can see, this is a 360 video with that imported camera movement that we had. And we can actually move around in the space. Now, like I said, the quality is really crappy. But that's because we exported a 1024 and then just rendered it at or rendered it at 1024 and then exported it in a 4K. So it's not really that good because I was using the laptop. But at least you know now how to capture 360 VR videos in Unreal Engine 4. And what I'm going to do is actually re-export this later in a higher resolution and upload it in YouTube as a 360 video. Alright, like always, if you guys learned something new today, make sure you go ahead and like this video so I can create more. Because uh, I just want to know if people are still interested. And if you've seen me stop making videos on a video, that's because the views are probably not even reaching like a thousand or something like that. So if you do like the video, make sure you uh, like the video. So I know that people are interested at a specific series. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later.